This is Majo John Madden in the Boca del Rio section of Veracruz, Mexico. It's pretty affluent up here, and the people are pretty affluent. I want to do a comment about how to approach the opposite sex. Now, the young people these days are all about uh, online. Everything's, everything's virtual. So my friend Lisa in Chicago described how her niece was hot for a guy she encountered in the Starbucks line. And instead of trying to talk to him, she uh, did a whole lot of research and, and, and basically stalked him. And I guess that's the way a lot of people do it these days. I prefer direct face-to-face -face. Uh, and I'm sitting in a really lovely coffee shop uh, I've been here for a couple weeks about to leave today because my car finally got fixed so I've been sitting here and I was kind of preoccupied with this young woman over here who I did not see a ring on her and I saw her jamming to the music she, was, she, had, she had her headphones on but she was moving to the music I thought this is intriguing. It's intriguing. I ought to do something about this. Well, I agonized. I agonized. Uh, I've not seen any indications of her flirting with me. I think she has noticed me looking at her. Uh, but what the hell? What do you have to lose? What do you have to lose? What, what could go wrong? Try something. When I was talking with Lisa about her niece in the Starbucks line, I said, Yeah. Drop something, get them to pick it up, bump into them, do something when they're right there, they're right there. Uh, so, so I finally took out my phone and in my Google Translator, because I'm assuming she's a Spanish speaker because everybody around here is, and that makes the whole thing a lot more challenging, but you can't let that be an excuse to not try it. So I basically wrote, uh, I've been admiring the way you're enjoying your music over here. I bet you're a dancer. I am. Uh, are you single? <laughs> so I took it over to her, and I knew right away I was not going to get anywhere because her response was to look up and say, Monday, which the servers at the restaurant where I used to hang out in El Diamante, when I asked them, what does Monday mean? They said, well, it's a term of respect. No, it's not. No, it's not. It just says speak. What, what do you have to say to me? <laughs> it doesn't indicate any respect or anything. So I, it did not feel like an invitation to me. And I just put the phone down in front of her and she read the message and laughed. And I said, the, the last word was soltero. Are you single? Soltero. I hadn't known that word. So I said, no, esta soltero. And she says, no. But uh, she was flattered. She liked it. So what's the harm? What's the harm? Otherwise, I walk away going, gee, I wish, why didn't I, I wish I had. No, I don't like to have uh, afterthoughts like that. Try it, do something. Now, there's a cute little story back in Asheville, North Carolina. There was a woman in a restaurant uh, that I was really taken with. It's the expressiveness, that's what gets me. I mean, this woman's very attractive, but it was her expressiveness. She was jamming to the music. So it was like that in this restaurant. I saw a woman at another table who was so hot that way. So I wrote a note to the server and I said, could you drop this to her? I, that was a move I've never tried before. I think I had seen it in movies. And uh, sat there helpless and in horror as the server delivered it to the wrong woman. <laughs> Well, I tried, you know, yeah, I tried. What's the song, if you get the chance to sit it out or dance, I hope you dance. Was that Leon Womack? Womack? I hope you dance. Do it, do something. Don't there, sit there like a lump. Okay.